As more and more people get out on the water or into the ocean with their boats, law enforcement says they need you to be safe. Move your head, move your head around, look for other boats, look for jet skis, look for kayakers, look for paddle boarders, and uh, just have a great safe weekend. The Nassau County Sheriff's Office was one of the many law enforcement departments throughout the throughout the state that were patrolling through the water to make sure everyone is safe, specifically Operation Dry Water. News for Jack's reporter Bree Isom joins us live. Bree, you got a chance to go out on one of those boats with the deputies to see how this is all tracked. I did, and it was a pretty cool experience. Now, law enforcement agencies do expect a lot of boaters to be out this weekend for the 4th of July weekend. They just want to make sure that all captains are sober, especially after multiple accidents that we had last month. You guys patrol on every major holiday, like 4th of July weekend? We do. We're out in uh, force along with the uh, Florida Wildlife Commission, Coast Guard, making sure everybody's staying safe out on the waterways. Ken Clements, a detective with the Nassau County Marine Unit, took us out on the water Saturday as a part of Operation Dry Water. What do you look for specifically when talking about drunk boaters? They're operating the boat and they're not paying attention to where they're going. They're driving in an area where we know they shouldn't be. We rode past places like downtown Fernandina Beach and Fort Clinch looking out for boaters all around Nassau County. We're looking for anybody that's uh, operating a boat erratically, uh, going through an idle speed zone or a no wake zone at speed. And Clements and another deputy did stop a boat for going too fast in an idle speed zone. Hey, how y'all doing? This is actually idle speed zone. All the way from the trip boat back there, that's to the other side of the, we're about where that boat is over there. You can see the sign on the shoreline, it's idle speed. So just set up to maintain steerage. How many crews are you guys sending out this weekend? Uh, we'll be have we'll have two boats uh, out all weekend in uh, Nassau County with uh, anywhere from two to three people on them all weekend. And by all weekend, it's pretty much sun up to sundown. These are the things you have to have in a boat with you at all times. A boater registration and license, life jackets, whistle or horn, fire extinguisher, flares if you're offshore, and a kill switch while at speed. And in case someone falls off the boat, a throwable flotation device as well. Can boating be dangerous? It can be very dangerous. Um, just within the last month, there's been several fatalities in the state of Florida due to boating accidents. And a lot of those boating accidents, uh, the operators were intoxicated. If we don't have to come work an accident with you, then that's a great weekend for us. Now, there will be extra patrols out on the water, whether it's FWC, the Coast Guard, or Nassau County. You'll probably see a lot of them out when you're out this weekend. Just make sure that you're being safe and make sure you follow all the rules of the water. I'm reporting live in Jacksonville, Bree Isom, Channel 4, The Local Station.